Now they're on the run. They've spooked this mammoth and they are running. Now, throwing a spear at an animal running away from you is very, very impractical. And this man is holding his breath really well. Lord have mercy. He's got this bird that's fallen to the ground and he is got some pretty feathers to flush the marrows with now eat the the meat i've never had bald eagle but uh i imagine it tastes just like chicken hey everybody it's tim spike davis with gameology and today i'm going to do an expert review on the game far cry primal so i have no idea what i'm about to watch but i hope you enjoy it and i hope that i give you my expert opinion Okay, we got this guy who's just crouched down. He's got a woolly mammoth walking past him, and he is on a belly crawl, which I imagine will make some noise. This guy's going to have to be really careful. I've never hunted woolly mammoths, not that old, but I imagine that woolly mammoths probably, like the pachyderm family, have very good hearing, very good sense of smell. Eyesight's probably not the best. Their eyes are way smaller than the rest of their body, so they're probably not relying a lot on their eyesight. So that's why these guys can probably use hand signals, which is probably very effective versus trying to talk to each other. Because if they tried to talk to each other, these woolly mammoths would definitely pick up on the sound. Now, using a bow and arrow would probably be very ineffective on a woolly mammoth because just the mass on this body is huge. A spear would be a lot better. Most animals are going to die of only a few things. In a situation like this with a woolly mammoth, it's going to be hemorrhaging. You want that animal to lose as much blood as possible. And so you've got to use a giant projectile. So a big old spear point like this this guy's hauling around could only be used either on a spear or an atlatl device bow and arrow not practical that would be like a mosquito bite for a big woolly mammoth like that and this guy up front is either really stupid or he's got balls bigger than anyone i know to be up that close to a woolly mammoth with just a bow and arrow spear carrying dude that's who i'd want to be another thing too and which of course most of these video games aren't going to show you is where's the wind coming from these these woolly mammoths probably have an excellent sense of smell so these guys have to be careful Busting through that much brush, guarantee you're snapping twigs, making a lot of noise. These woolly mammoths would be picking up on that pretty quick. So now they're on the run. They've spooked this mammoth and they are running. Now, throwing a spear at an animal running away from you is very, very impractical. You are going to lose your spear. Now that he's turning towards you, that is impractical too. That, yep, uh, this guy is going to be charging you and you want to get to the sides. The sides of the animal are the, where it's most vulnerable. Heart and lung shots right behind the shoulder front like this no there's no spear that you could ever pierce through mammoth skull that thing's probably about over a foot thick of just pure bone Duh, that would be a waste of a spear throw so this guy has to bust through a bunch of brush try to get this woolly mammoth on the sides if one's charging towards you your only thing is to run up the side of that rock cliff that is probably the best benefit running away on the flat ground not a good idea that woolly mammoth could outrun you very quickly but what these guys are probably are trying to do is get one or two of these guys to the side while they distract them from the front so they can throw beers they want right behind the heart I mean, right behind the shoulder to get the heart and lung shot that's the best spot to get a giant game like that to hemorrhage out fastest Okay, this guy's got two arrows and a very funky looking bow uh, with two limbs on each end and uh seriously a fantasy bow here uh shooting two arrows and especially at a woolly mammoth like this yep you're gonna probably be dead unless you shoot that woolly mammoth right in the eyeball which more than likely not you're just gonna end up ticking him off like this guy here and he's gonna be just launching his tusks at you so yeah this guy here to the side is probably the one who's throwing the spears the guy shooting bow and arrow i've tempted to shoot two arrows just for fun 
it is absolutely ridiculous. Basically, what you're doing is you're shooting two arrows very poorly instead of shooting one arrow very accurately. So it really makes no sense. Uh, in a fantasy setting, shooting two arrows sounds really a lot of fun, but what's going to end up happening is both those arrows are going to come off the shelf and go cattywampus in diff two different directions. So I'm sure there's somebody who could uh, show me that that's done differently, but I've shot primitive bows for years and uh, never been successful at shooting two arrows at the same time. And this guy's shooting at a William Mann's coming at him directly in the face is a waste of an arrow and this guy's just gonna end up getting crushed by the tusk he needs to get a spear going and he really needs to get this thing from the side uh, he probably does not have light long life on this planet just shooting bows and arrows at a woolly mammoth like that and now this woolly mammoth just went down from some arrow shooting, so he probably had poor health before these guys were chucking spears and arrows into him, but there's probably no way a woolly mammoth would ever die from a bow and arrow or a, a spear thrown at the skull. It just does it just end up irritating. I mean, he'd probably end up dying of infection like six months later, but not from uh, not within seconds like that. Hunting an eagle with bow and arrow. Okay, well that's a federal offense, but it's seeing as we're in a video game here, I'm not sure there's too many game wardens out here on this uh, video game series, but yeah, that, that eagle is really upset and uh, you are probably near its nest, irritating it, so I would never shoot at a bald eagle with a bow or anything, but not really a lot of meat on them. There's a lot of other game birds you could probably shoot at that would be easier to shoot at and more meat, but uh, it is a video game, and like I said, uh, now there's probably no game wardens on this video game, so this guy doesn't have to really worry about spending uh, 10 years in a federal penitentiary for shooting at a protected animal but uh, not sure why the game makers of this wanted you to shoot at a federally protected animal. It could have a goose, a wild turkey. I guess being attacked by a wild turkey doesn't seem as quite threatening as a bald eagle. But a little side note, the uh, founding fathers, I think it was Benjamin Franklin, wanted to make the wild turkey the national bird, but they went with the bald eagle. So I don't know if this is an attack on America as a whole. Here, this guy, man, this bird is tearing this dude up. And now there's no way a bird's going to fly around with an arrow stuck. Now you're chucking a spear at a... This guy must be amazing. This is either the largest bald eagle in the world, or... Well, it doesn't even look that big on the guy's arm, but to think that you would shoot an in-flight bald eagle with a bow is pretty impressive. And the fact that that eagle would fly off with an arrow in it. Most birds, once they get one little arrow in them, they can't even fly off the ground. They're just not designed to take that extra weight. But uh, it is a video game, so we'll go with it. And so now he's got this bird that's fallen to the ground. The eagle has landed, and he is got some pretty feathers to flush the marrows with now they can use the feathers eat the the meat i've never had bald eagle but uh i imagine it tastes just like chicken hunting woolly rhinos with a spear now i love rhinoceros so i don't i don't know about woolly rhinoceros so seeing as they've been extinct for probably hundred thousand years before i was born i can think it'd be pretty, pretty cool to hunt one in a video game, but not in real life. I definitely won't, wouldn't want to face off two woolly rhinoceros in an open meadow like this. These things, I would probably hunt more from a tree stand, elevated position where these guys couldn't crawl up. There's no way an animal that tough would ever die from one spear throw unless you placed it right in the heart. And even then, these things would run you down for probably half a mile before they collapsed. These are just tanks. These are living tanks. Nope, you can't throw a spear through a tusk, through a heavy skull. But hey, it is a video game. It looks like that is probably basalt which is a type of rock they use for napping points. Not very hard. I gotta tell you, that would have snapped right in half. Hunting and fishing. Okay, guy's going along with a bow here. It's wrapped with sinew, looks like, or cordage. He is swimming with his bow and arrow, which is highly uh, unsuggested to do. Okay, got a carp with giant teeth. Just bit him in the arm. Now, this guy would be bleeding in the water because you're not going to clot up in the water like that. But I, I would probably just stand on shore and probably try to shoot. I don't know why this guy's swimming after it now. Uh, yeah, he's probably got another fish biting on him. Or somebody shooting at him, it looks like. This fish is... 
one tough fish if he's been shot at that many times and uh, this guy needs to get a new system here swimming after a fish while hunting has never been a preferred method i've swam after a fishing lure that i lost one time but uh, it was an expensive lure it's my favorite one and i have shot a lot of carp through uh, uh well with my bow and arrow that i made but i have never had one look this nasty and start attacking me and if i did i would get out of the water immediately uh he's finally got his fish this must be the best chasing fish in the world because i would never spend this much time and this man is holding his breath really well lord have mercy i hope he doesn't just swim off after all that fight he needs to go get that fish well, that's a lot of work for just leaving that thing at the bottom hunting crocodile okay here we go i have never hunted crocodile and might be a first again we're back with the basalt uh, stone point He's got a crocodile that is glow in the dark here. Again, he's getting in his territory, which is not ideal. If you want to hunt any animal, you want to be at a better advantage than they are. And this is a predator animal. It is not a prey fish or a prey animal. So this dude would have just tore your arm off instantly when you're in his territory like water the best thing if you want to hunt crocodiles get them out of the water and uh you have a better advantage no i don't know who this dude showed up is this the game warden is this the guy who's like hey you shot that eagle we gotta turn you in i'm not sure maybe they were the alligator's best friend but they seemed upset that you were hunting that alligator so no we're back in the water and another alligator the guy's just bit down on your arm Clearly, the guy is right-handed dominant, which I think is a little bit, uh, being left-handed, I think is a little, you know, discriminatory. This guy can hold his breath better than anyone I've ever met. Stabbing an alligator underwater. My heart rate would be so high, I'd be sucking in air faster than you couldn't count. This guy's got this patrol of people walking around. We don't know if they're friendly or foes, but again, not thinking water's your best option to go into, but this guy just keeps, this guy is a sucker for abuse. He just keeps going and and he's got the toughest left arm I have ever seen because this keeps, he's been the third time he's been bit by a prehistoric crocodile on the arm and somehow he's wrangling this thing and able to stab it. But hey, I've seen weirder in, in the woods. Hey, this is Tim Spike Davis with Gameology and you just watched me give a uh, video reaction to the video game called Far Cry Primal. If you like videos like this, check out Gameology on Facebook and YouTube. If you want to learn more about Tim Spike Davis, check out Scattered Thoughts Cartoons. Hopefully one day we can go on a mammoth hunt together. See you hunting. Bye.